This is our top 5 of Palawan, Philippines. One, Koron. Koron makes the first spot on our list since its beauty is unrivaled and also because it is just a one and a half hour flight away from the capital Manila, which is the starting point for most travelers in the Philippines. All our favorite places in Palawan are sorted in the most convenient order so you can travel there on your own and know exactly where to start and where to go next. You can easily describe Koron with one word, paradise. White sand beaches, turquoise colored water, and amazing marine life are waiting to be explored. In order to experience the full beauty of Koron, you will want to book one of the many island hopping tours which are available at your accommodation or in the city center. The prices range between 10 to 20 dollars and are generally negotiable. The tours also include barbecue, local dishes and drinks and there's also snorkeling equipment if needed to dive at a famous dive site where you can see sunken Japanese warships from the first world war. If you're into diving, there are various booking agencies that offer dives all around Koron. And it is also possible to become a licensed diver in the unreal crystal clear oceans surrounding Koron. 2. El Nido From Koron, you can take the fast ferry to El Nido, which is arguably the most famous tourist destination of Pilar 1. Just like in Koron, you will want to participate in the many island tours available. Some people might argue that the nature is very similar to what you can experience in Koron, but in our opinion, definitely worth seeing. Just a few words of wisdom, aka words of regret. Don't touch the monkeys. We are serious, don't touch the monkeys. Don't come here during rainy season, which is from July to September, if you mind rain. But during the rainy season, there are still a few sunny days and you will be surprised by the prices of the low season and you can experience most of the sights with less of a crowd. Get a kayak. It is a fantastic way to explore other beaches that are a bit more secluded. During a kayak trip, we went snorkeling and found this beautiful turtle and enjoyed watching it effortlessly gliding through the water. And use sunscreen or you will look like this. El Nido offers really beautiful beaches, like Nagpan Beach for example, but some of them are only accessible by bike or tricycle. Just make sure you always think about your return, since tricycles are not easy to find everywhere. Very close to El Nido, you can also find amazing waterfalls in the jungle. But don't be disappointed if you're not able to jump as gracefully the water as we did. 3. Port Paton Port Paton, which is between El Nido and Puerto Princesa, is a quiet town and not as popular as El Nido or Coron. Maybe that's what makes this place so magical. Of course, how could it be any different? You can book great island hopping tours and explore amazing coral reefs, diverse marine life and beautiful little islands. But the true beauty of Port Paton is the less crowded beaches and waterfalls. 4. Sabang, Underground River. Just between Port Paton and El Nido, you can visit the Underground River of Palawan. It is one of the new seven world wonders of nature. The cave of the Underground River is more than 24 kilometers long and is navigable by boat up to 4.2 kilometers in from the sea. There are really a lot of tourists, so you might have to wait since only a limited amount of visitors are allowed to enter the river. While entering, you are given a helmet and also an audio guide which explains to you the different rock formations and also plays some light music. You might want to take off the headphones from time to time and just enjoy the silence of the cave and hear some bats flying. The cave includes major formations of stalactites and stalagmites and the ceiling of the cave is breathtakingly high. At some point its height reaches 300 meters from the ground. All in all, the experience is worth a visit. 5. Puerto Princesa Last on our list is the capital of the province Palawan, Puerto Princesa. The westernmost city of the Philippines is very clean and lovely. You are able to do some fun activities like visiting a crocodile conservation farm or going to the beach. One important reason to go to Puerto Princesa is the airport, which gives you the ability to continue your journey through the Philippines. For more information about other destinations in the Philippines, check out our videos linked below. Have you been to Palawan? What was your experience like? Let us know by commenting down below. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to see more travel guides like this one.